Hello everyone. Welcome to Android channel. Today we are going to learn how to add any kind of third party SDK into your Android project. I am going to show you three ways. Let's get started. First, we are going to create a new project. Just select an empty activity. Just give any name like I am going to give adding library demo okay and uh, just select the save location wherever you want to save your project and just finish so let's wait for until the project is synced okay so our project is almost ready so let's start work so the first way i'm going to show is uh, to add any kind of dependencies from the github okay so the first dependency get that we are going to add is a picasso so let's open safari So Android search and you can see like this is the link and you can go to its github link and you can get the dependencies from here so here it is a dependency you just just copy it and and paste it here after pasting you just have to hit the sync button now sync now it will take some time to get it sync Let's wait for it. Okay, so our sync is completed. Now let's see whether it is totally imported or not. So you can see like Picasso. If I'll search, okay, it's accessible. So now I can use the Picasso in my project so it's cool right it's very easy to add any kind of dependencies over here so the benefit of this dependencies adding over here is like you can get the updated code right whenever any code get changed whenever the dependencies uh, get changed right so if the version is uh, get changed so you just have to update the version over here and it's ready like you don't have to to any kind of other things like copying the code from somewhere else and adding that right? so it's very easy to use any kind of dependencies like this now the another way of adding the dependency is a jar file okay so if you have seen like some other libraries don't provide this kind of implementations okay they provide the jar file so how are you going to add any kind of jar file to your project so just search any kind of jar files so i'm going to show you one hamcrest jar okay so hamcrest is basically used for the testing okay so this we can discuss it later so just to show you how we can add any jar file i've selected this so just click on the jar okay so if you click on it so it will download the jar file okay it got downloaded so just go to the download folder copy it and navigate to the project section and here if you go to the app right so there is one directory libs lips so if you don't see this directory just right click on the app new and create the directory with the same name and just paste the jar file over here so after pasting just right click on the jar file and click on the add as library and here you to select the module in which module you are going to add the jar file so here i'm going to add in the app module so on selecting this if you see right implementation files jar file it came over here so now the jar phase is also added now to see if it is working or not so see mcrest factory writer it's picking from the org doc mcrest dot generator okay and other methods like i will show you asset to uh, 
okay so assert so if you see like i said that op op dot hamquest so now he can see like he has sexually added the jar file as well so what is the pros and cons for the jar file so the con is like that uh, in the dependencies which we draw for the picasso right so in this we, he can directly upgrade the version and we will get the updated code but for the jar file we have to again go to the particular location we have to download the updated version then we have to copy paste and again the process will go right and so it's a little bit lengthy as compared to the another dependencies so th this is also the best way this can be used when the dependencies don't provide us the any kind of other way apart from the jar file okay now the third way is like if you need any kind of code changes in the library right so let's suppose you have some kind of requirement that you are adding some kind of third party libraries but you want to configure or modify in that code but you're not able to do that because it's the dependencies which you are adding right now it's a readable code you cannot edit the code right but you want to edit the code then you have to copy the code and paste it over here so i'll show you how to do that so let's suppose I want to implement a crop functionality. So crop Android GitHub. So I'll search. So I'm getting these two three links. So I'll open any one of them like this crop one. So the first thing is okay. Refresh. Yeah. So the first thing is like just click on the code thing and download zip. So we have to download the code in our system so we'll wait for the download to be completed now again go to the downloads so it's downloaded so if you see right it's already downloaded now how you're going to think which one is going to be your library part right so whenever you are going to download the github project so you are going to see one sample and one the library name okay if you don't find which one is the library then just go to the sample open the gradle file okay so i'm just going to open the gradle file okay so If we, here if you're gonna see it's implementation the project of ucrop so he found out library so how to use it now go to the studio again and go to the file new import module so here you have to select the path from where you want to import the file now I have to go here ucrop open Okay, so it's selected, it accepted as well. If it is not a module, then it won't accept it. Okay, now I've selected it. Now it's giving me some error. Okay, so it is not sure like whenever you are copying any module from the GitHub, it will work as usual because they have some kind of configuration in the Gradle file which they did which will not work in your code, right? So you just to find it out and you have to remove that dependency. So here, if you see the even some kind of gradle we don't need it so i'm just removing it i'm just syncing it again again one more error came so if you see like it's using some kind of version which was which is not declared over here right so we need to check from where it's getting so i'm going to go it over here so basically it's declared in the gradle file only okay so i'm going to go to the gradle file and if you see okay if you see in here here it is declared everything so i'm just copy it and i'm just paste it inside my gradle folder okay now i'll hit the try again button so now it will sync properly so let's wait for the sync is completed so in the meanwhile i'm going to tell you what is the benefit of this and means the pros and cons so the pro is basically you can modify the code according to your requirement 
okay means if you have the code you can edit it and you can do whatever you want and the another thing is like when the con is you won't get the updated code right whenever any code has been changed the github repository you won't get it over here because you either you have to go there copy the code from there and replace it with your existing one but you have to make sure like your existing code should not get replaced right so this is the con but it's very good if you have to do any kind of configuration changes over here okay it's giving some error like platform android 28 not found so let's see why it's giving this error okay so the issue is like we don't have the platform android 28 is installed so i think we have to install it so i have to go to the sticky manager okay so the 10 is installed but the 28 is not installed so okay 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 it will take some time okay so our 28 platform api level is downloaded now i'm going to hit the sync button again okay so let's see whether the issue is resolved or not okay so our project is configured successfully so no with no errors so let's see whether we can access that crop dependencies or not okay so now i'll type new crop okay so i missed one point so if you see like we have added the u crop so once you added the module over here what other changes happen so first change is it will add the path over here it means uh, the module which we added right so q crop so it it came over here as well so how it's taking like the colon here it's getting used like a separator okay and the u crop is the path here it actually is so if you see like the colon since it is a root directory so that's why we are using like the u crop okay now after that thing we have to add this ucrop into our app module as well because hence here there is no declaration over here so how to add it just right click on the app go to the open module settings go to dependencies now just click on the plus button and set the module dependencies now if you see the ucrop over here now click on the ok apply and ok so if you see like it came over here the ucrop now once the sync is done now after that we can easily access the ucrop methods okay so the syncing is done now if i'll type ucrop yeah i can use it according to my requirement right now the thing which i was telling you like you can edit the code of the dependency which you added like as a module just now i showed you and but you cannot edit the code of the jar file or any other dependency so i'll show you how it's different so like if you see like the ucrop so ucrop activity is there so i can go inside if i want to convert the app compare activity into the activity yeah i can do that okay but like if i'm in picasso if i want to edit anything right so if you see the file is read only so i cannot change the code over here but in the ucrop activity i can change the code so this is the benefit of using the module if you want to do any code changes in your dependencies according to your requirements so that's it so i hope this video is helpful for you so if it is helpful please do like share comment subscribe and if you have anything else like if you have any other way of adding a dependencies or if i miss something please do let me know in comment thank you bye bye